Welcome back. Today we're going to be doing episode five of the Should We Buy It series. We're going to talk about all the new makeup releases and there is a lot from indie brands, which makes me so freaking happy, but we're going to decide if we should buy it or not. I'm going to tell you guys what I'm interested in and I want to know what you guys are interested in down below in the comments. But if that sounds like fun to you, then just keep watching. If this is your first time here, hi, my name is Heather Eaglin. I love all things makeup, especially colorful makeup and indie brands. And if you guys love those things too, I really hope you will subscribe, click the little bell so you can be notified of all my future uploads. And with that being said, let's get into the video. Let me get scooched on over so I can pop up pictures here on the screen so you guys can see the releases that I'm talking about. And also, I would like to thank Makeup on Your Radar. She is an Instagram account and she does like all the new releases. She's how I keep up with all the new releases. So I really appreciate her because all of the edits you will see pop up on the screen are from her account. So thank you in advance. So the first thing I want to talk about is something I'm super excited about. And it is the Unearthly Cosmetics Spring Magic Collection. It's going to consist of an eyeshadow palette, a blush palette, two liquid highlighters, and a lip gloss. The palette is going to have 18 shades that are inspired by spring. But this is supposed to launch in mid-April. And then it will ship out at the end of April. And the cool thing about this is you can buy it as a full collection or you can buy each product individually, which is really cool because it just shows that she really listens to her um, customers because people have been asking her for that. So I think it's amazing that she did it. I'm excited to see what this is. I know whatever it is, I'm probably going to be picking it up. If this is your first time here, I love Unearthly Cosmetics. They are one of my top favorite brands. Love them so much. And if you guys pick this collection up or any other thing from Unearthly, you can use my code. It's AOML and it will save you 10% off of your order. It is affiliated. So if you do use it, I really appreciate it. But I'm super excited about this. I cannot wait to see what it is. Next, we have something that's supposed to be coming this month in March. And it right now all we have is a like a little sneak peek. I screenshotted this off of Instagram, off of Glamite site, but you can kind of see like a peek of the palette. But this is the Glamite Kiss collection, and I'll link the video in my description box because in the video you can see they have like eye paints and all kinds of stuff. So I'm freaking excited for this. I can't wait to see what it is i know we were supposed to have gotten this in january but something happened and they were waiting on some of the products so it's coming out in march but i'm excited to see what it is and the pr box looks really freaking cool too let me know what your thoughts are on this one. Oh my god the next one i'm excited for and i have full intentions of picking it up I believe it's pronounced the Nueva Vida. This is from Gourmand Girls and Steph from Steph's Beauty Stash. This releases March 8th at 11 a.m. CST. I think that's 12 p.m. EST, which is my time. But this palette is so beautiful. It has seven mattes, a satin, two multi-chromes, and two duo-chromes. It retails for $52.99. You can use affiliate codes with this brand. I do not have one, but the collaborator Steph has one and I believe her code is Steph. And if it's not, I'll pop it up on the screen, but I totally am picking this up. I think it's so freaking beautiful and I'm so happy for her. I think uh, she did a really good job with this color story. I'll link her video down in my description box because she explains the shade names and everything. And she put a lot of love into this and I'm excited to support her collab. And I tried Gourmand Girls back in December 
and I really loved the formulas in their palette. So I'm excited to try this one too. But let me know if you guys plan on picking this one up. Makeup Forever is coming out with 39 artist eyeshadows. It says, unleash your creativity with our 39 artist eyeshadows. There are 32 mattes and seven shimmers. They're singles. But it said back in 1984, they introduced those shadows. And it was one of the largest range of color eyeshadows ever on the market. And now, 40 years later, there are 39 new ones. Honestly, this is a pass for me. I think it's cool that they're doing this because I know a lot of people really do love singles. But I forget that they're in my collection. Honestly, I end up decluttering most of my little palettes and stuff too because I just forget that they're in my collection. So it's an easy pass for me. But I don't see anything on the pricing or anything yet. And it says they are coming soon, but I would just keep an eye on it. Maybe you'll follow makeup on your radar because I know a lot of people may be interested. And then next, CoverGirl is coming out with a new True Blend skin enhancer. They are $10 each and there are a bunch of different ones. There are six. There's a sticky grip. And it grips makeup with vitamin C, cashmere calm, and color neutralizes jelly opal glow, which awakens and glows, jelly bronze glow, I guess one's for light skin, one's for deep, and then the plush plump brightens and smooths, and then there's the velvet blur, which minimizes pores. I think these are cool. They're available now at Amazon, and they're vegan and cruelty-free. If you guys try these out, let me know. I don't know if it's, if I see it out, I might pick it up, but I don't know when it's coming to stores, but I think it's cool. And I'm always excited to see new primers at the drugstore because lately I found some really good ones. These I'm interested in, especially that terracotta looking one, but CXC Beauty is coming out with five cream blushes and five cream bronzers. They retail for $28 each, which isn't bad at all. You can uh, save 10% with the code RADAR15, which belongs to Makeup on Your Radar. But I think these look really cool. I really love that terracotta shade, like I said, and that really poppy pink one. I love a bunch of them, actually. But I'm still planning on picking up blushes from the last um episode so i'm gonna skip on these ones i'm really excited to get the ones from lys and i should be able to pick them up tomorrow which makes me super happy mac cosmetics is coming out with a teddy forever collection this collection is freaking massive but it includes the following products teddy takeover eye and face palette in light but it has a whole crap ton of stuff in here we got two palettes some matte lipsticks uh looks like there's a setting spray the setting spray is just their setting spray new packaging lip liners all kinds of stuff even the max stack um mascara some of it looks really cool and i would be interested in picking it up but honestly i don't know if i want to pick it up because of what it is or because i really love this packaging if i'm guessing it's probably the packaging i've always wanted to try the mac fix plus let me know if you guys have tried it is it really everything everyone claims it to be i'm curious but there's no information on this yet on when it's releasing it's just saying that it's coming soon nomad cosmetics is already doing their sneak peeks on their launch that's going to be happening on march the 12th but if you had head over to their instagram page they're playing a guessing game they do it with every launch and whoever guesses accurately they draw a name out of the list of people and they give the, someone the palette which i think is really cool but i'm excited to see what this is i'm guessing it's like somewhere in ireland or something but if it has this blue green color story, I, you know, I'm all about it. I'm excited to see what it is. I really love Nomad's formula. I think they're a very fun brand, but we'll just have to wait and see. Then this next one, I'm intrigued by it, but if I'm being honest, it really confuses me. 
but it's from Urban Decay. It's a foundation. It says a face bond waterproof liquid foundation. 40 shades, foundation, serum, and setting powder all in one. How? I'm really, uh, there's no way I'm going to be the guinea pig on this one. I'm going to wait and see some reviews because I don't know how it could be all of that. So it kind of makes me wonder if it's going to be like cakey. But it says it has a buildable medium coverage with a natural finish. 3% niacinamide setting powder that absorbs sweat and oil ensures that last up to 24 hours. Sweat and waterproof patent precision dropper. I mean, it looks really cool. The shade range looks really nice. I want to hear more on it, but I'm right now I'm like confused because of the description. I don't know how it could be all in one. How can a liquid be a powder? What do you guys think about this one? Bobby Brown is back and there are a bunch of eyeshadow palettes, a highlighter, um, the lipsticks, and I want to be honest, I love the packaging. I would be interested in the lipstick, maybe that highlighter, but it looks like it would be too dark for me. I love the packaging. I think I already said that, but in case I didn't, I really do love that, but it's a miss for me. It's like that when you go through your grandma's makeup and you find her eyeshadow palettes that are from like Lancome. I don't, that's not my vibe. And Bobbi Brown's kind of out of my price range anyway. So it's just a pass for me. But I wanted to let you guys know in case you were interested. I like more like bigger palettes and more colorful palettes, which some of them are colorful. But that purple one at the top is colorful. But it's just a no for me. I don't. I'm not interested in it personally. But this palette is really cool. This is from Shop Edge Beauty. Honestly, I've never heard of them. This already released on March 1st and it retails for 52 US dollars and it's called the Dystopia Palette, the Desert Dystopia Palette. But this is beautiful. I love the packaging that this is in. Love the freaking color story. Those murky greens with those mustard shades and burnt oranges, even that pop of blue. I just think this is so freaking pretty. If you guys have tried this brand, let me know. Or have you seen anyone review it? Because I would love to find some videos, but I think that looks really cool and I love the color story. So the House Labs blushes are back. And not only are they back, they um, are releasing two more shades. I think these were limited edition the first time they launched, but they've uh, brought them back with two more shades. I heard a lot of people really like them, but I haven't used them yet. You guys will have to let me know your thoughts, but for now, I'm good on blush. I just did a video reviewing everything that I've purchased in the last couple of months, and there's like 10 blushes in there, so I really need to calm down on the blushes because I went crazy apparently. Vanessa Myricks is coming out with the Groundwork Blooming Romance Palette. It is $65 and will be available on March 16th. Honestly, I could see this being really good for a makeup artist, but for me, it's a no. I think some of these are creams and some of them are powders. I know people are like raving over this, but I don't gravitate towards neutrals anyway. So it's an easy pass for me, but I could see why someone might be interested in it. It is really pretty and it would be really good for a uh, practicing makeup artist. But for me, it's a pass, but I know a lot of people do plan on picking this up. So if you're one of them, I would set an alarm. That way you don't miss it. I don't know the exact time that it's launching, but I would look into it. And just set an alarm. I always set an alarm with everything that I want to pick up. It Cosmetics is coming out with another CC cream. This one is Natural Matte. It, it is $47 and has 30 shades and it is available now. It's great for oily skin, combination skin, acne prone skin, and sensitive skin. See, it all the oily skin part gets me because I do have more dry skin than anything so I don't think this is for me 
but I know a lot of the it cosmetics foundations are really good so maybe if you have oily skin this might be good for you the shade range there is a lot of shades but there's not a lot of deep shades like really deep shades which is kind of sad but I'm gonna pass on it Westman Atelier is coming out with these matte lipsticks actually they're already available they're fifty dollars each and there's no way i could drop fifty dollars on a lipstick at this point in my life never say never but i think these are really cute i've seen videos people laughing at the packaging but i really like it i don't know i like some of the shades that whole top row and that more coral looking one i think they're really cute but there's no way in this lifetime that i can pay that much for a lipstick so right now it's a pass for me. And then next, Tarte Candy collabed with Girl Scouts. They have three palettes, three lip glosses, a mascara, a little blower poof, the headband, highlighters. It's quite a large collection. And there's parts of it that I say no to. The palettes look really cheap. The highlighters look really cool. And I love the headband. I love it so much. I was a Girl Scout. So I feel I have a little nostalgia towards this and I would be interested in the highlight too. But as for everything else, it's a hard pass. I just think they could have done a better job on the packaging of those palettes specifically. But it says it's coming soon to Walmart. So stay tuned and just keep an eye out for it if you're interested. Oh my God, I really want to talk about this one. I need your opinion. This is the NYX Buttermilk Bronzer. And when I first saw this, it, they just showed the outer packaging. And I was like, oh my God, yes. And was so excited to try it. But do these not look like blushes to you? Because I swear they do me. They look very mauve -y. I mean, I would, be, I would love to try them. I would have to see them in store though. Right now you can pre-order them on Amazon. They're only $10 each. So I guess it really wouldn't be like a risk or anything. I'm interested in them. But let me know. Do you guys think that they look really mauve? But let's see. It says the buttermilk bronzer blends like a powder and glides like butter. For a sun-soaked bronze all year round and all day long. Buttermilk bronzer. This formula melts into the skin, delivering a buttered up bronze finish, silky smooth skin, in eight butterlicious soft glow shades infused with mango butter. What does mango butter do for your skin? Honestly, I'm curious because I really don't know. Shea butter, almond butter for up to 12 hours of wear. I might pick this up actually. It's only $10, which isn't bad, but I, I'm going to have to go some, maybe it's the pictures making them look like that. Cause to me, they look like blush more than anything. Like the Kaleidos blush, those really fair ones that don't show up on anyone's skin. Those. Then we have this release. This is Deck of Scarlet. And I'm going to be a hundred print. I'm going to be 100% honest with you. When I first saw this picture, I was like, oh my God, Dose of Colors. Because I haven't seen anything from them in so long. But then I started reading the description and it is Deck of Scarlet. I've not heard of this brand, but these are really pretty. Both of these palettes are $42 each. You can get a palette bundle with a makeup bag for $65. But we have the Maximalist. Max maximalist maxim minimalist i don't know god i'm over here doing my best and then we have the solar aura eyeshadow palette these are really pretty they make me sound like an idiot because i can't even say their names but they are really pretty i like the one at the top the one i couldn't say at all it's really pretty. The other one is more on that neutral side. It looks like they have a cream shadow in them too. I would totally be interested in picking this up if there wasn't already so much crap that I was buying. And then we have a release from Merit. I have a lipstick from Merit. I don't know which formula type it is. I haven't worn it in a long time. 
It is the signature lightweight lipstick in the shade Cabo. But look at this. It's so freaking pretty. I love it. But Merit is coming out with the box set. It has signature lip mattes, a limited edition capsule of four signature lip matte shades, Classic Power, Mason, and Antibes. I'm going to pop that name up on the screen because here I am sounding like an idiot again. But these are available now at Merit. They are $82. And I love... All of the shades except for power. It's more of like that pinky berry wine shade. And that's enough for me. But the other ones I really like. But I probably would just pick up the ones that I really would want. Which would be Mason and Classic. Those ones are really pretty. But this is supposed to be new. And I think it's really cute. But I say how much it is. It's $82 in case I didn't. But let me know if you guys have tried the Merit Matte Formula. I've realized lately, I don't really like matte lipsticks. I like the satins more than anything, unless it's a, like a liquid lip. But and even in that case, I have the ones from Unearthly, and they're like a satin formula. And I really like them. They're comfortable. They don't move around a whole lot. They're not drying. I just don't like how dry and shriveled up it makes my lips feel when I wear a matte. Terra Moons is coming out with a huge collection. I have not tried them, but I've heard a lot of really good things about them. But apparently they launched this on February 27th and it has a lot of stuff. Lovers on the Sun palette has two versions, the solar and the lunar version, which is really cool. The solar version has two multi-chromes, one duochrome, three mattes, and it retails for $39. The lunar version has three multichromes, one super foiled metallic, and two mattes for $45. They have 10 singles launching, uh, gloss. There's a lot. So this is already up. I think this looks really cute. I like both palettes. I would love to try some stuff from this brand. Then we have the CXC Beauty Out of Luck palette. This is available now. I've heard people say that the, they hate the cover. I don't mind the cover. I just wish it wasn't full of grays. But I know there's going to be someone out, out there that really loves this color story. But I don't get what it is about the grays that everyone loves so much. I feel like they only look good on a small range of people. And I definitely do not fit into that box. But I will say I really do like the murky greens in this palette. And I loved them so much for a second. I almost forgot that I grays and picked it up and I'm glad I didn't but this is available now do they really not put a price on it I 59 US dollars I already looked it up thank goodness but I don't know if it's worth 59 US dollars but I've never tried this brand so you guys are gonna have to let me know what you think but it is a pass for me I'm more into the blushes that they showed earlier and speaking of grays, we have a release from Beauty Bay. I have not tried Beauty Bay, and it ain't going to be today. Honestly, when I saw this picture on the screen of these palettes, I thought that it was like a sneak peek and someone like made it a black and white photo. I, If you like this, I truly mean no disrespect. We have three palettes. Let's see. I do have information. The 42 shade palette is $38, which really is not bad at all. And then you have the 16 shade palette for $20. I couldn't find anything on that small little nine pan, but you can buy both the big palette and the medium size for $43. These are available now. And if you see this and you love it, I truly am happy for you. But when I see this, it looks like a nightmare. I can't possibly understand, especially with the two bigger palettes, why you need all those shades of gray. It just feels so unnecessary. I don't understand it because you don't need all those shades to blend out an eye look. If it's a good eyeshadow, which I can't speak on Beauty Bay's formula, you can just blend it out with one. You can mix colors. 
Like you could mix a white and black and make it gray. And both of them are in both of those palettes. So I truly don't understand it. But if it makes you happy, then honestly, I really am happy for you. But it's a hell no for me. I just, that would be my worst nightmare. There's no way. I'm going to save my 35 or $40 for uh, the Unearthly or Glam Light release or the Nomad or the Gourmand Girls. All these palettes I want to pick up. Glaminatrix. Then we have this release from Polite Society. This is launching on the 10th. And do I have anything? No information on how much it is yet. There's five or six shades available. I honestly couldn't um, get like full details on this. But these look so freaking cute. They look like little chubs. But they are really cute. I haven't tried anything from this brand. I think they used to own Too Faced. But honestly, I really wasn't into makeup or YouTube back then. So I don't know. But I think they're cute. I really love Palm Springs, Sydney, uh, Milan, London, all of them. They're cute. And I would love to try something. People are going nuts over that foundation. Maybe I should pick that up. Let me know what you guys think. Then we have a release from Cover XF. This is the Radiant Start Tinted Moisturizer Luminous Formula for dry skin. It's $28. And it's available now at Cover FX. This is for uh, dry skin. So that makes me like kind of want to try it. But I need coverage. And this does say it's a sheer coverage with mega moisture and even more radiance. But I've never tried a skin tint. So maybe I should try one just to see what I think about it. But if you guys like skin tints, let me know like what your feelings are. Do you have like hyperpigmentation and stuff like that? Like, why do you love it? And leave your favorites down below. But I'd be interested in this. Shade ranges. There's eight shades. I think skin tints really don't have to be like straight on correct shades because it um is so sheer. But there's only eight shades in case you are interested. And then Cover FX is also coming out with... The Skin Discovered Long Wear Concealer, Full Coverage Long Wear, and it's available now at Cover, uh, I mean, Cover FX for $21 each. And I'm interested in trying this because I really am in the market for a full, full coverage concealer. I mean, full coverage, spackle, but can't look bad. But it says it masks blemishes, discoloration, and dullness with ease. Wherever it is, you're covered. Our game-changing formula hides dark circles and redness all day. It resists creasing, transferring, and settling. Idea for blemish-prone skin, discoloration, mature skin, dry skin, oily skin. This sounds like a miracle, and that's what I'm looking for. So, actually, I might pick this one up. Let me know if you guys plan on picking it up. This one is really cute. Notoriously Morbid is coming out with this cute little palette called Paint the Town Red. It is $34.99 and it is available now. Honestly, I think this looks really, really pretty. But I don't want to see another red eyeshadow for the rest of the year. Um, Valentine's took me out. All of the eyeshadows are red and pink. So if it's a, got a lot of red in a palette... It must, it's going to have to be a brand that I really love or a color story that really takes my breath away because I don't want to see another red eyeshadow palette until 2025. But if you guys are interested, I think I said it's $34.99. I do think it's pretty and I do love a good eyeshadow palette that has a red in it, especially a true red or a them to be able to get a true red that does not lean pink makes me really happy, but I just can't right now. I'm really excited about this one. We have a release from the balm. You heard me right. The balm. And it has been so freaking long since I heard that name of that brand. But we have the Talk is Cheek Blush Cream. These are $16 each. There are six shades and it is available now at thebalm.com. 
and I'm excited about this. It says, where your cheeks are not just seen but heard, the whisper light and bold, boldly flirty blush loaded with a clean ingredients is your ultimate cheeky companion. Enhanced with a doe foot applicator for a touch as soft as a secret and comes in six shades designed to ignite your blush crush. I want to know who wrote that because that's like kind of hot, especially for a blush ad. But I mean, they sold me. I'm excited. I, I think the packaging is kind of cute. Looks a little drugstore, but to be honest, they're kind of drugstore price at $16. And a liquid blush will last you a lifetime. But I'm really excited for this one. I plan on picking some of them up. Lethal Cosmetics has came out with a pretty big collection uh, that is out now. And it says, want to slay all day? Don't worry. We got you with our new collection. You definitely will. There's six multi-chrome flakes that retail for $21. Five multi-chrome halos that retail for $17. Four iridescent tricone tricones that are nine, but I think these are really pretty. I would love to try some of those little glitter flakies. The palette looks really pretty. I seen Angelica Nikiva show it in a video with I think her and Samantha March, or maybe it was her new makeup releases with Samantha March. But I think they look really cool, and I'm totally interested in picking them up. But this next one I did pick up. We have a release from Inslee Rain. This is the Groovy Garden Palette. I picked it up. Like I said, I'm so excited to get it. The full bundle retails for $250. I did not get that. But the full bundle comes with one palette, five multi-chrome pressed singles, four multi-chrome moon dust, one lip oil, one lip lacquer, one rain or shine gloss and one glitter base the palette is 69 dollars. the singles are 18 the moon dust is 17 and there's like a whole list i'll have it linked down below but i'm excited to try Inslee rain heard nothing but good things and all of these like singles and like glitter topper things she has i would do i would love to be on her pr because the videos and reviews I've seen are glowing. And to get this full collection, I would lose my mind. Oh, I think it's so cool. But I'm so excited to try the palette. Tarte is coming in again with that Maracuja line. Something released in episode 4 too that I talked about. I don't remember what it was. But here we have the Juicy Lip Vinyl. Lips that speak volumes. There's They retail for $26 each. It says, our glossiest, shiniest, juiciest formula drenches lips in a slick, wet finish for lips that speak volumes. They are available now at Tarte Cosmetics. I think some of them look really pretty. I'd be interested in trying one out, but to be honest, I'm probably going to wait till I see a review just to find out about them because I know those... Um, vinyl lipsticks that came out from urban decay were like terrible so i don't want to buy something and like waste my money if i can help it i don't want to but i would be interested in seeing some reviews for them though isabella cosmetics is coming out with a new collection it is called under the full moon collection it is available now the palette looks really pretty but it actually reminds me of this palette from Gourmand Girls. Let me know what you guys think. It really might help if I get it in screen, but doesn't it remind you of that? But it is really, really pretty. Um, it already launched on February 29th. The palette is $32. You can use affiliate codes to make it around $28. And it's also coming out with these really cute glosses that are 15 each or the bundle for everything is $60, but you cannot use a discount with the bundle because it's already discounted. But I think this is really pretty. I think it's, God, that really does look like that palette. I haven't tried Itzabelle Cosmetics though. Let me know what you guys think of them and if you plan on picking that one up or not. This one I'm picking up tomorrow and I'm so freaking excited about it. 
This is the Glaminatrix Pre and Pastels. It's available now for 43 US dollars. And I'm excited if you guys didn't already know. I love this so freaking much. I love that they put deep shades with this. I've heard people say they don't understand why they did. I do. They did it for me. I am so excited. We got the light shimmers, the mid-tone colored shimmers. We have the pastels and it goes like to the mid-tone mattes all the way to the dark mattes. This was made for me. I cannot wait to pick this up. This is going to be my first time trying Glaminatrix and I'm super excited about it. But they also release blushes and you know I'm picking some of them up. These retail for $17. You can buy them in a bundle. And I don't remember how much it was. I think it was like 50 some dollars. You can use a code with these. But I want to pick up at least one of these. But I do want a couple of them. But I might space it out. That way I'm not like spending so much money all at once. But I'm excited. I'm so excited about this release. I was like so sad that I didn't have the money to buy it when it... um like actually release but it's still in stock as of this moment and i have full intentions of picking it up but that is it that is all the releases that i have to talk about there were some other stuff that like perfumes and um skincare i know peach and lily is coming out with a new line they are one of my favorite skincare brands so i'm definitely interested in that there's so much perfume it's not even funny but there's like more high-end brand stuff coming out. But it's not really anything that I wanted to talk about. But if you guys are interested in seeing more information about those, just head on over to Makeup on Your Radar. I will have her linked in my description box. Highly recommend that Instagram page. It's freaking awesome. I've never seen a person be able to keep up as much as she does. I don't know how she does it. But now is your time to let me know down below what are you guys interested in? Is there anything that you would like to see me review? Are there any types of videos you would like to see on my channel? I would appreciate all the suggestions. It really does help me out. And I'm excited to see what you guys are interested in because that helps me know what to buy, what I'm interested in. Hopefully will coincide with what you guys are interested in. And then I can create content that you actually want to watch which is the whole point, you know? But thank you guys so much for watching this video all the way to the end. If you liked it, please give me a thumbs up. I really do appreciate it, and it really does help me out. If you haven't subscribed yet, I really hope you will. I try to film this video like every week. Sometimes it'll go over a few days when I have a bunch of palettes to review like this one, but I really hope to see you guys back here, but until next time, bye.